<laughs> Welcome to our lecture online. Our next problem is finding the line voltages of the problem we just found the line currents for. So here we have the result for the line currents, A, B, and C. And now we're going to find the line voltages, the voltage from A to B, from B to C, and from C back to A. How do we do that? Well, we were given the phase voltages, and we know there's a relationship between the phase voltages and the line voltages. We know that the line voltage is equal to the square root of 3 times the magnitude of the phase voltage. And then we also know that the line voltage, hmm, let's see, leads the phase voltage by 30 degrees. So in other words, if we draw a phase diagram, it's going to look like this. Here, this will be the phase voltage, for example, the voltage between A and N. And then we have the line voltage between A and B. So this would be V line. And there is a difference, a phase difference of 30 degrees. So essentially what we have is that the line voltage is equal to the square root of 3 times the phase voltage with an angle of plus 30 degrees in the phase difference. So what we need to do now is take the, line, the phase voltage and convert it to the line voltage. So we can say that VAB is going to be equal to the square root of 3 times VA plus a 30 degree phase difference. And so that's in the positive direction, and that should be VA like this. And since we know what VA is, we can say that VAB therefore is equal to the square root of 3 times 110 volts, and we get 0 degrees plus 30 degrees, and that will then be the line voltage from A to B. So 3, take the square root, times 110, that gives us 190.5, so it's equal to 190.5 volts with a phase angle of 30 degrees. That's in volts. Now to find V BC, we know that that will be the same magnitude, but it will lag by 120 degrees. So we're going to subtract 120 degrees from that, so that gives us 190.5 volts with a phase angle of 30 minus 120, which is minus 90 degrees. That's in volts. And then we want to find the line voltage from C back to A. That's equal to 190.5 with a phase angle. Again, subtract 120 from that. That's minus 210. And those are then the three line voltages of that particular YY circuit. And that is how it's done.